Hi, it's me, Kevin Dew. While I worked on my initial review of my new Anycubic Castle Delta 3D printer, which I will publish soon by the way, my father printed a wall mount for our Amazon Echo on a small Trunk CX1 printer. But the print suffered from a lot of under extrusion. Eager of getting it finished as soon as possible, he retried, but this time with the purple filament. But as this print was wasted again, he asked me for a fix, which I will share with all of you guys. This kind of problem occurs when the hot filament is pulled out of the extruder and some molten filament gets stuck on the colder parts where it hardens immediately and adds a tremendous amount of resistance for the new incoming filament. Fixing it is relatively easy, it just requires a few minutes of attention and the printer is up and running again. To start off, the hotter is heated up to 190 degrees Celsius in the case of BLA where we remove the filament. Then the focus is turned on removing the extruder fan with a small case. Letting everything heat up for about half a minute, the pneumatic holder is screwed out and as you can see, a lot of filament also find its way out of the extruder. Already knowing that the issue was mostly resolved in this case, I continue showing my dad what to do if the filament wouldn't have liked to go out that easily. We go on by stop the heating process by simply rebooting the printer and loosen the extruder heatsink. Then with the heater block still being well above 130 degrees Celsius, we loosen the heatsink from the aluminum block. As the issue has already been resolved before, not a lot of filament is residing in here, which is a good sign. Knowing that the nozzle itself is fine, because filament went out relatively straight and not curled up before, we didn't screw it out. As of this point, there's absolutely no clock left in the extruder and we put it back together again. Fixing the heatsink to the carriage, heating everything up to properly align the heater block to be able to add the cooling unit again and guess what, we forgot something namely the pneumatic coupler, but that's not a big deal. Starting the print again, I had great expectations it to work, and it did. Thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Goodbye.